Well, the saying goes, one man's trash is another man's treasure. What do you say about wastewater? Well, in the city of Boise, it extends to that kind of same philosophy, but in a very specific way. Early in the pandemic, we told you about how the city of Boise was able to study samples from the city, city's wastewater. And to do that, they get insights on how much COVID is moving about the community. It's a stinky, but a very useful science. Now, fast forward to the very end of this year, 2021, almost two years into this whole pandemic, and the testing of our wastewater continues, and it's also giving us some more interesting insights. We've seen your questions about this program, so Joe Paris circled back with the experts about what we are seeing now with the wastewater. It isn't pretty, and yep, it certainly smells, but new insights are drawing an interesting picture for local health officials. When you look and listen, this water seems very unremarkable. If you have the right lens though, this wastewater is actually full of value. And if you're a lucky little molecule, the city of Boise will send you on a trip. Sending samples to a lab that runs an analysis to measure the amount of the COVID virus in the wastewater. Haley Faulkner is the environmental manager in the city of Boise Public Works Department. She says since testing started last spring, the wastewater has turned into a major boon for COVID insights. And what we've learned about the data is that it is a leading indicator for clinical COVID cases. So what that means is that when we start to see a rise in the virus in the wastewater, we can then expect a rise in the COVID cases five to seven days later. So for example, wastewater testing, which includes Boise, Garden City, and Eagle water samples, results from September 10th this year showed a 2021 high in COVID particulates. Sure enough, days later, Ada County reported their highest daily case counts of the year. Looking through the dashboard, to me, it looked like our peak was back in September. It looked like that was the highest of the high on that web page. Um, how does that compare to what we're at now? Oh boy. Um, that's an excellent question. They've definitely, it, um, it looks as if the virus, the virus load numbers have come down, although it, I um, was looking at it yesterday and they're coming back. It looks like they're trending back up and we're sending samples three days a week. So we do post those as we get those results. We update that, um, I guess, kind of to be determined on what that looks like from a, from a COVID cases over the next few weeks. The COVID conversation has certainly evolved since March 2020 to now include vocabulary that few are familiar with pre-COVID. A phrase many have fixated on recently is virus variant. Wastewater testing has led the charge on valuable insights on that topic. The most useful thing I would say over the past few months has been the addition of the variant testing, which we've actually been doing for almost a year with the University of Missouri. And so they are able to screen for the variants. And what we saw with the Delta variant is that we were able to uh, measure the presence of that variant in the wastewater before we had a clinical case that was recognized in the region. And so that is something that we're doing right now for the latest variant. That latest variant, Omicron, has not been detected for now, but it is expected to be likely in the next few weeks. I don't know if you have the answer to this, but is this a situation where you keep monitoring this for the foreseeable future? That I hard to say. I would I would think yes. Where we are right now, I can't, I can't imagine that we're going to stop monitoring for for the SARS-CoV-2 virus. I think even when we get kind of further along and maybe things stabilize a bit, I would imagine that we're doing some regular amount of analysis because the trend is what's really important in getting this wastewater data is seeing if there's any substantial change. So we have to analyze enough to be able to, to have a, a trend to look at. I think where we could also see additions and in talking to our local health partners, things like the norovirus or the seasonal flu or other potential um, things that we can measure in the wastewater that would have really local kind of health information impacts. Okay, Joe, so she says they, she could see us testing the wastewater for future things, including COVID, mm -hmm. going a few months, from, even after the pandemic. The yeah. question is, before the pandemic began, was the city testing the wastewater for any sort of virus or any sort of diseases? They were actually talking about it right before COVID hit, and they were actually looking to test the wastewater for particulates from opioids. And Brian, they were really hmm. trying to take a look at, you know, what the opioid situation was according to the wastewater. Now that program really didn't get kicked off, but they were exploring the idea of it. And they thought when COVID really started to have an impact in our community, well, maybe we can take this idea that we had with opioids in our community and apply it to the wastewater and see if we can measure the virus particulates from COVID. 
COVID. And it ended up being a really successful program in terms of the data. Uh, one thing that Haley told me about is really you get this idea of the 50,000 foot view. You get a real general idea right. and you don't have people concerned about, well, what is Brian Holmes doing? What is Joe Paris doing? So it's not an individual basis, but as a community, the health experts get a really good feel of the direction we're going. Can it though locate parts of town where it, things may be a little bit higher than other parts of town? For the most part, it's it's really conglomerated into one big pile. Okay. So where all the wastewater comes from, as we mentioned, Garden City, Eagle, Boise to those two plants the city of Boise operates. That's really the Ada County picture there. Um, it would be interesting though in the future if they have technology to more pinpoint that as the situation. I assume evolves. they would need more plants in order to do that to yeah. kind of funnel it through. So just a reminder, five to seven days, maybe a little longer mm -hmm. before we start to see what they're seeing with the wastewater show up on actual testing. Yeah, that's usually about the lag, so it's wait and watch. All right, thank you, Joe.